Hi, my name is Bennett Goldberg and I'm PI of the Postdoc Academy project. I'm also the director of the Searle Center for Advancing Learning and Teaching, Assistant Provost of Learning and Teaching, and Professor of Physics and Astronomy at Northwestern University. People, it turns out, are complicated. We live and work in professional and personal spaces, and we project our own sense of self into these spaces. I am a director of a learning and teaching center. I am also a father and a husband. I'm an educator and a researcher, a friend and an athlete. I am white, male, have socioeconomic and educational privilege. I am a born and bred second generation Bostonian. When I start something new, a new job, a new committee, enter a new community or join a new project, these identities are salient in different ways. What I reflect on frequently is how these identities interact in my social spaces and how I should act to ensure my and our goals are achieved. Listen and reflect on what is important for you now. Awareness of self is critical to develop and achieve your professional goals. I am a postdoc and I'm also a Mexican citizen living and working in Boston, Massachusetts. I am a postdoc and I am a Chicagoan. I'm a postdoc and I'm also trying to be an ally and an advocate. I am a postdoc and I am also a teacher. I'm a postdoc and I'm also a mom. I am an entrepreneur and I'm a community organizer. I am a postdoc and I am a crossfitter. I am a faculty member and I'm also a active citizen of the world. I'm a scientist, teacher, and academic administrator and also a father and a husband and a brother. I'm a PI and I'm Finn and Eric's mom. That shows up in a couple of different ways. One, it shows up in juggling my calendar and, and making sure I'm in the right place at the right time and that's both physically but also mentally and, and making sure that when I'm at work I'm focused and doing the best job that I can and that I bring that same level of focus and doing the best job that I can at home too. So I'm an administrator and a husband and a father and it's important to me to be able to balance the two where work drives me and I enjoy and love what I do but I also love being able to go home in the evenings and on the weekends and spend time with them. Work allows me to do that and I love going on vacation. I am a postdoc and I am a Vietnamese native. I am the oldest child and I am the only one in my entire family who has done both undergraduate and graduate education in the States. Growing up and now growing old, I've learned that the support system I have back home and over here constitute the person that I am today. And um, for that reason, I have strived to not overlook the sacrifices and to continue my contribution to help the people and the environment around me. I am primarily an administrator, but in addition to that, I am a teacher, a mentor, a cheerleader uh, oftentimes, um, a father, a husband, and above all, I hope I'm a friend. I think that those intersect in the job that I have in a lot of different ways as I work with postdocs and I work with students and faculty. Sometimes they just need somebody to listen. Um, and the same is true for, for faculty and other staff. You know, the first thing that comes to my mind is I am a woman. I'm a researcher, I'm a mother, I'm a global citizen because I work in Japan, but I lived in three countries. Um, I think I have many things. I have multiple identities like anybody else going through cultures, go, going through jobs and going through different career stages. Um, I think there's a lot of I am's. I am a postdoc and I'm also a husband, so I love spending time with my wife and traveling all over the U.S. internationally whenever we get an opportunity to do so and really explore what this world has to offer. I'm a postdoc and I'm a black woman from the great state of Mississippi who is STEM adjacent. As a Mississippian and as a black woman from Mississippi, I'm very familiar with the historical as well as the socio-political landscape of that space and what it means for me to be not only a black woman from Mississippi, but a first generation scholar from Mississippi um, at a time such as now. As someone who is STEM adjacent, I'm thinking about my um, education and historically black university um, as a chemistry person Person, how that helps me think about what representation, what equity, and what justice look like in STEM, not only at the bench, but also in the textbook, as well as um, in classrooms. I'm a human being, 
And I think that's something that's stretched all throughout my entire career is recognizing my humanity. But uh, functionally, I'd say I'm a problem solver. I like challenges. I don't do well if I'm not being challenged. If it's an easy task, I'll make it hard, uh, just for the sake of having that experience. So I'd say initially, I'm a connector. I love finding connections between sometimes disparate topics. So for scientists, for example, I love connecting them with understanding and resources as to how they can make an impact. I'm a postdoc, but I'm also a woman in physics who was actually very lucky to get lots of great support from mentors and tutors, but also who had to prove herself sometimes in this environment and who is, you know, like told very often, oh, you are a physicist. You don't look like physicists. You know what? Well, this is how physicists look like. <laughs> I am a postdoc and I'm an artist. I create scientific stationery and stickers and other gifts for scientists. I started doing that in graduate school when I had friends starting to graduate and I couldn't find cards that were appropriate for them. So I started making my own and they liked them so much that I kept doing it. <laughs>